Welcome to another episode of uh, Slice of Heaven Cooking with Ruth and Gary. It's no longer just Ruth's cooking show. Now, Gary's a part of yeah, it, too. And I'm a partner. I'm not necessarily the guest <laughs> just like the I guest. was last time. Yeah, I was so just the guest. He kind of took offense to that. So. Yes. Okay. Today, we are going to do just a little uh, vegetable uh, medley here. And we're going to call it Dip and Veggie Delight. So while I'm uh, putting together the ingredients for the dip. Gary is going to start cutting and, and uh, slicing some carrots and celery. Mm -hmm. And we're going to put this, um, the dip that we're gonna make, I'm going to cut our cucumbers into about a one and three quarters to two inch little cups, which I will hollow out and then we'll fill with the dip and then Gary will stick the vegetables in there. So it's, yeah. it's just kind of a, a nice little idea to have if you're having you know, a special guest over for dinner, or I think kids would probably also enjoy having this. It's just a, a little something, maybe to even get the kids to eat vegetables by making it a little bit more interesting. So in the dip, it's a dillweed dip, and we're going to put in one cup of sour cream. And I actually have the whole 4% um, sour cream, but you can use you know, the uh, low fat or whatever you like. And then I'm, I'm putting in a half a cup of Miracle Whip. So I'm gonna stir the, the sour cream and the Miracle Whip together first before I add the seasonings. And to this, we are going to add two tablespoons of minced onion, one teaspoon of Lowry seasoned salt, two tablespoons of parsley, and two tablespoons of dill weed. And typically I would probably make this the day before so that it has a chance to have all of the ingredients, you know, set up a bit and um, more of the, uh, the, I think the essence of all of these ingredients, the, the spices that we're using uh, come out better when they have had a chance you know, to set up overnight. But we'll just demonstrate doing this. Mm -hmm. and, um, and this is a, a family recipe from a sister-in-law from many years ago. And we used to make this a lot. So hopefully you'll enjoy this one. And if, if you don't want to go to the bother of making your, your recipe, you can also buy, you know, dill dip at the grocery store too. So I'm just gonna trim the, the bottom part of the cucumber like so and then I'm going to make them about this size. You like that knife better? Sure. Okay. And we're going to leave part of the base. Gary can help do that. We'll leave part of the, the, uh, the base of the cucumber in there and then we're going to scoop out the rest of it. So we didn't plant any, or you didn't plant any cucumbers, did you? No, cucumbers okay. take up a lot of space. I have more of a okay. consolidated garden. So I've got tomatoes and basil, parsley, lettuce, kale. I think I, this is a repeat of last week. Yeah. I, think I said all that last week, but it's still so. there, still growing. This warm, humid weather we've had is, and the rainy weather we've had in the last few days is really making the gardens pop around central Wisconsin. Okay. So we're just going to fill up each cup with the dip. And then Gary is going to stand then. We like to, to trim those, um, cut your, your vegetables so that they're, they're pretty thin. And then they're going to stand up there nicely. I think this would be a, a fun idea for like a birthday party too, if you were having kids. Um, would enjoy having their own little cup of, of vegetables. And in the summertime, it's, it's always nice to kind of incorporate fresh vegetables when we can too. So when the carrots start, start you know, so coming, is that a little bit too much? They're gonna overflow when I stick in it. Actually, the first time we saw this little appetizer was at a, an event that we attended and I thought 
it's it looked like it was you know like really really neat and something different and just uh, mm -hmm. just really cool I think uh, to do this yeah and I think just the appearance of them I think the kids would yeah. love them little kids that you can't get to eat vegetables you can probably even add a couple more vegetables on each one if you want yeah they might overflow though I'm gonna s well I'll that's what I was saying before. or else they're gonna come out maybe yeah okay this one is probably not going to be we're quite as well. So you, you want them as about you can see, you got to play with two inches bit. tall. We're just going to make this one to be a shorter one for the little kid. For the little guys. And there. So I think that's pretty cute. There you have. So it. I really like that. There. So we have to share some news that's kind of going on in our family. Sure. So Go ahead. when when this show airs, I will be officially retired. Mm -hmm. um, from the UW Marshfield Wood County campus after right. over 20 years of being the library director mm -hmm. and about the same time our son Matthew and his wife Alana decided that they wanted to take a reprieve from their jobs so right. they're going to travel the world and come home and live with us for a few months. Stay while. with us a couple of months before yeah. they take off and we're going to enjoy that and we're going to do all kinds of fun things like this and more. So we're hoping so. to get them on the show and maybe help they can help us with our business mm -hmm. and so they can earn their room and board there while they go. stay with us. <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to be right. a fun summer looking really be. looking forward to it. Yeah. So from a slice of heaven, I hope you enjoyed this little episode that we did today and happy cooking. It's the cute, the cute cup and dip sticks. No. Okay, you, you okay. do whatever you got to do. We're just going to have to call it something. You know, I think she's recording this, and she's going to have this on an outtake again. <laughs>